You know, when we talk about family vacations, we think of station wagons or perhaps the large suburban or even the family minivan. But you know, there was one other vehicle that was a mammoth in size, and that was the Ford Excursion. With 10,000 pounds of towing capacity, you can take longer vacations than ever before. Ford Excursion. From Ford Outfitters, no boundaries. Hey, it was 1973 and General Motors had just redesigned its suburban utility wagon. At the time, sold by both Chevrolet and GMC, a part of its rounded line of CK trucks. As a central part of the design, a fourth passenger door was added, allowing the model line to compete directly against the smaller sized uh, International Harvest Travel All. Remember those? You know, following the 1975 discontinuation of the Travel All, the Suburban became the only wagon styled full size SUV. A distinction it would hold until mm, 1997, with the introduction of the Expedition by Ford. You know, to compete against the higher payload of the Suburban 2500, Ford began the development of a heavy-duty SUV derived from the three-quarter ton F-250 Super Duty pickup truck. They would call it the Excursion. Introducing Ford Excursion. Discover the ultimate in capability from Ford Outfitters, offering you the most far-reaching sport utilities on earth. Ford Outfitters, no boundaries. You know, massive in size at 18.5 feet long and weighing over 7,000 pounds when equipped with the diesel engine, the Excursion was one of the largest SUVs ever produced for the civilian market. The Ford Excursion was introduced for the uh, 2000 model year on September 30th of 1999. Interesting tidbit, in Brazil they had what they call the, uh, I hope I'm not mispronouncing this, if I am, correct me please, the Tropi Van, which was uh, an F-250 converted into a large SUV by a conversion company. I don't know about you, but it looks to me like an excursion. Here in the States, however, uh, during its entire production, the Excursion was offered with both the gasoline and diesel engines. The standard gasoline engine was a 5.4 liter Triton V8, and uh, then we had the uh, 6.8 liter Triton V10 uh, that was offered as an option. At its launch, the optional diesel engine was the, uh, what, 7.3 liter Power Stroke, which is a a very desirable uh, engine to this day. Later, they offered the uh, 6.0 liter diesel V8. You'd think if a big SUV company could figure out how to remove the third row seat, they could also think of a logical place to put it. Thankfully, one has. Introducing the totally new 2003 Ford Expedition with exclusive power... While the smaller Ford Expedition shared design elements with the popular Ford Explorer, the Excursion adopted a high degree of commonality from its F-250 counterpart, with the exception of its egg crate grille styled similar to the Expedition and the third generation Explorer. The Excursion shares its front bodywork forward of the B-pillar with its pickup truck counterpart. The rear doors are specific to the model line, more curved rear edges than the crew cab Super Duty doors. You know, my younger brother purchased a 2002 Excursion, brand new, and I remember him telling me that the instrument panel was updated that year, receiving, you know, the digital odometer and transmission temperature gauge blah 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 in 2005 the egg crate grill was replaced by the four bar grill used on the super duty trucks you know this behemoth of an suv has long been renowned for its commanding presence on the road believe you me when you see one you you just don't forget about it. It's it's pretty large. But it's the inside where the vehicle truly shines. 
So let's step inside the Ford Excursion as you enter, you're greeted by a vast expanse of space that immediately sets it apart from its competitors. The interior is designed to accommodate up to eight passengers comfortably with three rows of seating that offer generous legroom and headroom, even for adults. With the seats folded down, the excursion offered an impressive amount of cargo space that put many dedicated cargo vans to shame. You know, from its size to the infotainment system to streaming music or getting directions to your next destination, the excursion really had it all. You know, for trim levels, the excursion adopted the trim nomenclature used by Ford with all Ford light trucks in North America. The base trim was the XL used at the time exclusively for fleet sales. The XLT was the standard trim. Of course, you also had the Limited, which was the highest trim line and the one my brother still owns to this day. Later, you could also order the Eddie Bauer trim package in 2003. It uh, really differed from the Limited primarily in appearance, right? It was two-tone in color. You know, interesting fact, at launch on September 30th of 1999, the 2000 Ford Excursion was described by popular science as the biggest sports utility on the planet. This would be the most successful model year for the Excursion with nearly 69,000 sold. Americans have always liked big cars, but with the popularity of sport utility vehicles, the competition to give buyers the biggest SUV is starting to look a lot like the 60s nuclear arms race. Each time a new one arrives, we wonder how much farther this escalation can go. After largely meeting sales projections at its launch, the demand for the model line was affected by the energy crisis of the 2000s. You know, to make it worse, in 2007, Time selected it as one of the uh, 50 worst cars of all time. Production of the Ford Excursion ended in 2005 with sales of only 16,283 units. Hey, there you have it, the story of the Ford Excursion. Hey, you know, by the way, my younger brother bought a brand new Black Excursion Limited with the tan seats. Uh, and the 7.3 Power Stroke, brand new in 2002, still has that truck today with a little over 150,000 miles on the Power Stroke. Hey, what do you think about the Ford Excursion? Did you or your family own one? We want to know. Leave us your comments below. As always, I want to personally thank all of our subscribers for helping us out, helping the channel grow. Hey, you know, we noticed that we have a lot more viewers than those who are hitting that subscribe button. Hey, do us a favor. Subscribe to the channel. It's absolutely free. Just like, subscribe, and hit the bell for any future notifications. It really helps the channel out. This is Michael J. with This Old Car. We'll catch you next time.